Welcome back, everyone. You are listening to another episode of Fast Facts Perio Edition, brought to you by A Tale of Two Hygienists in partnership with Dentist Rx. And now, please welcome your host, Katrina Sanders. Hello, and welcome to Fast Facts Perio Edition. In this episode, we discuss the historical survey of diagnosing periodontal disease. The first iterations of us documenting the diagnosis of periodontitis comes from Orban in 1942, where we established two major forms of periodontitis. The first was simplex, which was essentially a formation of an abscess and subsequent bone loss, versus complex, which was more degenerative. While this was a rudimentary way of explaining acute versus chronic periodontitis, it wasn't until 1966 that the American Academy of Periodontology developed the World Workshop, which specifically termed chronic periodontitis with no definite system for classification. In 1982, Page and Schroeder identified five different forms of periodontitis, and these forms were used until 1986 when the American Academy of Periodontology established our case types. Most dental hygienists are familiar with these case types. Case type 0, healthy. Case type 1, gingivitis. Case type 2, mild. Case type 3, moderate. And case type 4, severe periodontitis. However, in addition, in 1989, there was an adoption of classifications of juvenile periodontitis, adult periodontitis, necrotizing ulcerative gingival periodontitis, and refractory periodontitis. Finally, in 1999, the American Academy of Periodontology established gingival and periodontal classifications. These classifications changed the way that we looked at periodontal disease because it integrated various modalities of risk factors associated with these disease processes. In 1999, the American Academy of Periodontology classified classification zero as healthy, classification one, gingivitis, classification two, chronic periodontitis, classification three, aggressive periodontitis, classification four, periodontitis as a manifestation of systemic disease, classification five, necrotizing diseases, classification six, abscesses of the periodontium, classification seven, periodontitis associated with endodontic lesions, and finally, classification eight, developmental or acquired deformities and conditions. This allowed the clinician to create a multifaceted approach when identifying a diagnosis and subsequent treatment plan for patients. Finally, in 2017, published in 2018, the American Academy of Periodontology created with the World Federation the staging and grading guidelines as we know them today. This has been another episode of Fast Facts Perio edition with Katrina Sanders. Please feel free to reach me on Instagram at the Dental Wine Genist or on my website, www.katrinasanders.com. Cheers. Thank you for listening to another episode of Fast Facts Perio Edition, brought to you in part by Dentist RX, makers of the Intellisonic line of power brushes. Find out more by visiting their website at dentistrx.com. We'll see you next week for another Fast Facts.